Hello guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Guys, today's video we are going to watch Bedma on Instagram Live, guys. Today they have a good conversation here, guys. But before we continue watching this video, please, guys, um, we want to beg of you, like some people comments in telling us that we talk too much that the voice record like we don't like it please we can skip the voice record and you watch the main video and as we, we said before like we are doing this for one purpose guys but if you don't mind guys you can skip it and you watch the main video we are just saying putting the voice record like one minute for one purpose please all right let's continue watching please today's your first time hit that red button subscribe for more updates like this drop your opinion what it thinks on this video at the comment section guys and uh, all right i will see you on my next video have a wonderful day thanks that's i used to be up time up all night i fly man. I, I put my life into the music business blood so i've been up for 40 years bro yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to get some sleep though. Yeah. BG ain't gonna let me get no sleep. That little bitch, since he came home, he just been on my back. So that's my little nigga. I love him, you heard me? That's, you heard me? I fuck I, with him. See, and we on one. We on one. So you be thugging it out with the car is, so you rocking no. the car is. Nah, I'm a car here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I want to tell you this right quick. Because I've been asked some questions I've been wanting to ask you. You know, you were supposed, we supposed to do something in New Orleans, but you, you know, you're moving around a lot. But I wrote some questions down. I want to hey. ask you. Hey, bro, I, I want to tell you something too, nigga. If you fucking with us, you fucking right. with us. You don't, right, don't, right. don't play with us. Right. You hear me? Right, right, right. And don't right. play with us. If, if you fucking with us, because I fuck with you. I fuck with and you. And I ain't going to play with you, blood. Right. You hear me? I'm going to keep that shit general. You hear right. me, blood? And I want that same respect from you, blood. It's respect to disrespect, then it's fuck everybody. Right. But I want that same love and respect for you, from you with everybody that I fuck with, blood. You hear me? Right. We're right. on that type of time, blood. Right. I respect it. So look. I want to ask you this question, whatever, because I know y'all got the YouTube honor that y'all with Leo Cohen's when y'all did the YouTube event in LA. Wayne was there, Manny Fresh, but I remember Avery and Monty Lipman say Cash Money Records uh, did a quarter of a billion streams soon to quarter be a, a trillion streams. Quarter stream. How did oh, that feel yeah. to, to know y'all accomplished that by the CEOs of Republic Records to say that at the YouTube honor event that you know Leo Cohen? And other people put on for y'all. I mean, them, them actual numbers, nephew. Um, Monte and Avery, them like my brothers. Um, they, they, you know, like me and Slim. But um, they're, they're only speaking the truth. And I always wanted to run the numbers up, but it'd be hard to come by or fuck with or, you know. Um, I always wanted to do a, a trillion streams, bro. So, you know, a nigga saw the pyramid, but don't know how it was made, bro. So, and um to have a run like we had it was blessed grateful um leo coin was like been a mentor to me um, um a lot of people that was a part of that um top dog p um kevin laws um hannah the look that's the little girl that did the event um kia um even my son Wayne been there, um, Cito, D Rob, mm -hmm. um, a lot of I saw God, in the whole Gotti. industry that was yeah. there. Yo, got it. I like, saw LL Cool J there. Yeah. You know, LL, everybody that was there was like, you know, we, we, we played a big part in hip hop, brother. So for them to come out to me, that was very respectful for me, bro. Very. Yeah, y'all did real, real big with that. Now, moving along, before that, y'all had got the. The key to the city, Mayor Latoya Contrell, gave mm. y'all the key to the city, man. Dave Ice was trying to advocate for y'all to get that. You got that. How did that feel to get the key to the city? And what that mean being from New Orleans? Because you always rep New Orleans. You got the Superdome tattooed on your own. Big and you got right. the So why how much did that mean to you to get this key to the city and stuff like man, that to get honored with that? Man, first of all, shout out to you and your partner, um, David Hudson. David Hudson. Yeah, yeah. Man, who David Hudson, who um Y'all, y'all, y'all really put that shit together, and um, for the mayor to do it, um, I honestly feel we deserve it because our contribution to the city has been, um, has been heartfelt, and we did it, but just no, you know, just because we from the city and we come up hard, we come up in them slums, and um, 
that 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 was that was a cool play for me. Cool play for us, um, cause we was once um, unfortunate kids. But me and my brother and my sister, we grew up in boys' homes and in and out of youth study and back and forth. We, you know, we had a hard life, bro. So um, for them to give us anything, mm -hmm. uh, I, I respect it. Right. I want to say this too. And going from that, you know, Essence Weekend, we had got the street named after you. And I know you never really got a chance to talk about that. But I know mm -hmm. when I, I saw it, I told you when we was on the phone, I said, oh, you're going to be alive to get this whatever. I said, because Too Short, I mean, Easy E did. I said, Tupac mm -hmm. did. Biggie, all these people, but it was only 14 people in hip hop in the last 50 years. So for you and Slim to get that, how did that feel? Because I kept telling David, we got to get this done. And David was like, we're going to make sure we get it done. Shout out to Leslie Harris, too. Um, but how did that feel? Because I know a lot of people can say, "Well, baby, the more Venice and Magnolia, how y'all gonna put it on Saratoga and Rattle?" <laughs> but I'm really from Saratoga and Rattle. I'm from Saratoga and Rattle. I re I was I came up in the Melfamine Project. I was raised in the Magnolia Project. I mm. came up on Vanna Street. I was in the St. Thomas Project, and my mama family was from the Desire. So I kind of lived in all those projects mm. through through my childhood life. So um, and I, I got a piece of all of them throughout my life. You hear me, brother? But um, to, to do that on Saratoga and Rattle, that's because that's where my dad and my mama from. So <clears throat> that that meant a lot to me. But I'm really from um, a few different projects, a few different wards, mm -hmm. and I lived in a lot of different ones. And I got friends in all of them. So, but. To do that uptown, that that meant a lot to me. Why, 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 why? Everybody know over the years you love uptown. You always say uptown shine every summer. Why uptown means so much to you? Why you love uptown so much? Because you embody it wholeheartedly. Why does it matter so much to you? Because that's all I ever knew. All I ever knew was uptown. I didn't even know how to get to the east. <laughs> oh God, I never knew how to even go to the east in my yacht childhood days. Right. Everything for me was always uptown, 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 because that's where I got it from. Um, and um, I just love where I come from. And uptown made me hard. Uptown made me tough. It taught me how to be. And I just felt like if I could survive uptown, I could survive anywhere in the world. Right. So um, the beginning of Cash Money, 91, you got the movie idea, I guess, you and Slim started New Jack City. Um, but just to throw a couple of artists out there that was at the beginning, there's a lot of them y'all had over the years, or whatever. But people like Pimp Daddy, rest in peace, you know, uh, UNLV, um, Miss T, you know, the name of few and all that. The high boys, like, why those groups were so important at the beginning, just to name a few of them. Um, the U, I always got respect for the U. I didn't want them to leave, they wanted to leave, so I let them leave. I let them leave with their masters. Same thing with Miss T. I didn't want her to leave, but I let her leave with her masters, right? And today, I still got a relationship with them, but um, I ain't want them to go. They wanted to leave. You hear me? That was their choice. And after that, I formed the Hot Boys, because I already had BG, Wayne. They was around. Magnolia Shorty. May she rest in peace. Um, Pimp Day. Pimp. If Pimp was alive, he'll still be cash money, boy. That nigga, that nigga love me and my brother. Uh, that's, that's one loss I, and BTY. Uh, uh, them, them two type motherfuckers, I wish they would still be here, bro. But they'll still be here. You hear me? But um, just a few of them that I wish we'd have kept. All of them I wish never would have lost, but uh, it, it is what it is, and we can't replace it, brother. Yeah. Um, Like I said, so... Going back to the high boys, you was talking about the high mm. boys, and I know, mm. you know you put the high boys together, and then I remember your nephew, BG Derek. Right. They called him Bulletproof on the high boys. Um, why he the wasn't Bullet. in the group? Oh, you named yeah. him Bulletproof? I named him Bulletproof. Why you named him Bulletproof, and what's Derek from the 11 War or the St. Thomas Project? He not from the Thomas, but that's what he represented. Okay. And all his friends was from the Thomas. That's what he was at every day. But my little nephew, he was thugging, bro. He was really thugging. Um, I wanted to make him a hot boy. Can't no nigga vote no nigga out. That that's impossible. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna let no nigga vote my blood out. That's my real blood. That's my sister child. That's my nephew. So, Mr. Darkin. Yeah, but 
he just was a little gangster. He was ahead of all them. He was living like that. He was like that. And I love him to death. But, you know, him thugging like that cost him his life. You heard me, Fire? Right. I remember somebody told me before too. Um, they said y'all was, I think it was vicious y'all was with, and um, buddy, buddy, my, my out there. he was wild. Jack the dice, he'll lose game his money and rob the whole dice game, bro. He, we one of them type niggas. Like, I'm like nephew, what you doing, bro? And I'll be the nigga coming to me like, I'm trying to keep it. You heard me? I give a nigga their money back, but he was really thugging, bro. I ain't gonna even trip. My little nephew was thugging and. You know, I love him. I'm going to ride with him regardless because he's still my blood. That's really my blood. That's my blood. So I loved him and I wish I would have never lost him because, but still he went stood on his own mm -hmm. as an artist. Mm -hmm. But he just fortunately to lose his life at a young age. Eight, 18, 18, years old. 18, years old. 18 years old. I remember you had the jersey on. I think it was that video against the girls. You were in Fresh, I think, or Kelly. He was on the beach. You had a rest in peace, a little Derek shirt, you know, jersey on. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. I love my little nephew, bro. I wish he, you know, he was the number two stunner. Yeah, for a fact. Yeah. Um, Birdman and Friends. Now, a lot of people kept thinking you was promoting it. They, they kept saying the high boys to the high boys, Essence, and all that. That's what they was thinking. But Essence never promoted like that. Essence was always saying Birdman and Friends. You know, um, why was it so important to have people like that on the stage, you know, with BG and Juvie and Fresh and everybody and Wayne and even, um, when you had the locks, you had um like Jadakiss on there. You had Scarface, Two Chains, exactly. to name a few. Like, why those people were so important for you to have them with Birdman and Friends on the stage? Um, Bun B, like a day one, mm -hmm. they was fucking with us before with anybody. The locks, them niggas like day ones. I got number love and respect for them and Rough Riders. Mm -hmm. You know, Chain, he family. Um, and everybody that was a part of that show, you know, that's family, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I see nigga was talking about like um, Wayne ain't won't do this and do that. Wayne wasn't gonna even do essence. Mm -hmm. I called my son and asked him to do it because I was doing Birdman's and Friends, mm -hmm. and he he want he did it because I asked him. Mm -hmm. I asked him to do it right, right. So we always knew that Wayne was gonna have a, his own set mm -hmm. because me and Juve and Jeezy and Fresh. We rehearsed together every day, and we had our own set together. But we all knew that Wayne was going to have his own set because Wayne was supposed to be, a, he was only a surprise guest because mm. he he had did Essence two years in a row, and he turned them down personally. Right. And I asked him, would he do it for me? And he did it for me. Um, that's why he, he had a set because he was like a surprise guest. But right. shout out to my son, Weezy, man. For right. and it's crazy because, like I said, Wayne was just with you the week before in L.A. We all got honest for Big people fact. to act like Wayne didn't want to be there. Because the reason I'm saying it, because, you know, at the end of the show, when you was like, I'd never be a pussy nigga in my city, something like that at the end, everybody kept thinking you was insinuating that you was coming at Wayne. When nah, I saw you, you were in the seat the backstage. Bro, I ain't got the heart to say nothing negative about Wayne. I love my son, man. I, I ain't got the heart to say nothing about none of them. But, no, nah, that, that wasn't that was about. Um. What I meant by that is, um, I ain't gonna let this game play me. Mm. The game that played a lot of niggas. I ain't gonna never be a pussy ass nigga to this industry and let them play me. Mm. I, mean, I ain't built like that. And I ain't gonna let my city down being a pussy ass nigga getting played. I really did it. Mm. I generated $3 billion over a quarter trillion mm -hmm. streams. Yeah. Now I'm standing on what I'm standing on. Me and my, my brother and everything that's around us, man. I met a lot of superstars in this game, man. Wayne, Drake, Nicky, Juvie, Fresh, Jesus, Gotti, um, fucking Cali, Future, Thugger. Mm. Uh, besides all the pop stars I made, that's just some of the hip hop stars. Right. But I, that's all I meant, bro. Right. I ain't meant nothing to not not never towards Wayne. I would never dishonor Wayne in no kind okay. of way. Yeah, I'm glad, like you said, so people got a little clarity with that. Now, another thing to get off a little bit off such. I remember somebody told me before when you was younger and your teens you used to have like cars with secret compartments of money and shit yeah. popping out Big and you was having Big motorbikes and all kinds of shit. Facts. Like this before cash money was even Big started. Big so facts. can you tell me about this, these type of cars or this, this shit that you was Nothing. having? On guard, right? 
you know, I've been in and out of boys' home, in and out of youth study as a kid, right? I lived in Canada. I lost my parents at a real, 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 real young age. I was 14 years old wearing two Rolexes mm -hmm. uptown in the north. Mm -hmm. 15 years old with 10 cars, three, four motorbikes in the new year. By the time I was 16 years old, I had 16 cars playing with a few M's in the Melf, New year, just moving around uptown, right? Mm -hmm. I ain't never been no man in my life that wear fake jewelry, blood. Mm -hmm. That ain't my, my style. And if you uptown in New Orleans mm -hmm. and you fake, a nigga gonna run through you. You guaranteed to get smashed if you uptown and anything fake about you, bro. I ain't never been fake in no kind of way. I ain't never wore no fake jewelry, nigga cap talking, nigga bitch me to say I wore fake jewelry, nigga mm. pussy to say I wore fake jewelry. I ain't never wore no fake jewelry. Nigga, I'm from uptown New Orleans. Nigga, I was 15, 16 years old playing with M's. By the time I was 20, 21, nigga, I had $30 million. But that just showed me a nigga don't know me, nigga. You met me. Mm. I, I met a nigga in 96, stopped fucking with him in 2000. Boy, you don't know me. I've been doing this shit before you was born. Nah, that ain't my style, blood. And then where we come from, you can't be uptown cabin. Boy, a nigga, I'll run through you. Nigga, this mm. shit gangster. Real life gangster shit in that UPT. I ain't never been one of them, blood. I ain't never, nothing about me ever been fake. Jewelry, cars, man, I'm, I'm the real deal, boy. Oh, I'm glad this. I'm the real deal. And I'm ready to die, cry, and kill about that. I'm the real deal, boy. Find something else to play with, son. Hmm. Kid, not, not me. I ain't the one. Wow. So, all right. So, another thing, on my page, and I own, and being from New Orleans, and I always know you always say down bottom. And I remember one song on Lil Wayne album. On the card, he said, a country boy and something foreign, about 100,000 more than we're throwing. Now, I want to ask, say that because- Wayne said that. I Wayne said that. Said that. Right. Your artist, Wayne, said that and on the on, on bottom that's, of the map song. Oh, and um, I'm asking you because- I'm my artist. Right. That's, correct that. That's just, right. That's just, all right, cool. Glad you clar clarified that to me or whatever. Your son, Wayne, said that um, a lot of people be saying New Orleans country, who country, and people down south country, you know, how you feel about that or whatever? Because a lot of people in the South historically got called country. Being from New Orleans, would you consider yourself country? Or Man, you not country? Cause New Orleans I'm country as a motherfucker. I'm super country. And I, I'm I'm not just country. I enjoy being country, nigga. But I'm a country hustler. Do the math on me, nigga. I'm the real deal. And I don't mind a nigga calling me country because I think we is country. To compare to them niggas, that all right call me country but that don't mean i can't get much 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 or much more than these niggas i think i am country as a motherfucker and i'm proud of being country nigga i don't discredit being a country nigga nigga we country and what fuck you yeah my country nigga with a bunch of bitches and a bunch of money mm. I'm, cool. I'm cool with that i'm with that mm. bunch of jury bunch of calls and i'm you know, mm. put me taught me a bunch of everything nigga i ain't tripping I ain't said I love it. none of that blood. I'm country forever. I'm I'm good with being country. I'm a southern nigga. I'm totally good with it. I like that because I remember Pimp C, you and Pimp got that pride for the South. And I know you always called the South down bottom. Why are you where that come from and what made you start saying man, down bottom? Everybody I get that from Pimp you know, I love Pimp C and Bun B. We down bottom. We is down bottom if you really look at the map. We down bottom. That's a fact. And I'm good with that. And we good with that. We ain't and no man, bro. I ain't beefing with no coat. I love the east and the west. I ain't beefing with nothing in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. Hey, bro, we down bottom with this shit, and we winning. So I don't understand what the what the hate about, or what Real the what the bullshit about. I'm good Real with it. Real talk. Um, the book stuff. Um, when we was in there, the footage leaked out of the and all. And when the dudes in the jail was saying about. You know, we need books and stuff like that. And that clip, that sound bite hits shade room and everywhere. Bro, you know People they edited that understand. shit, bro. You but, know they edited that. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna never tell but, a nigga not to read, bro. Right, I got right. a book company, bro. They got I, Cash I, money I over 200 books, bro. And I got about 100 of them 
um, New York best time no. sellers, bro. So, and that's how I got out of the penitentiary, reading books, reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. You heard me, blood? So, nah, I ain't gonna never tell a nigga not to read, but I'm gonna also tell a nigga, get you some lawyers and get some people that can help you. I'm with that too, but, but I ain't gonna never tell a nigga not to read. That's, uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna educate ourselves to educate ourselves. Oh. That's what we are. Right, right. Well, I'm glad you clarified that. Now, for all the artists on, because you didn't put on so many artists over the years, many, many years, whatever you've been doing and stuff. Um, for people to say, like, Master P don't sign enough people, or why Stunner don't sign more people, or why Fee ain't signed nobody, the currency, or Weez ain't signed enough people, nor how you feel about that when they say you should sign more people, or you ain't signed enough people? Bro, we just trying to sign talent, bro. You know what I mean? It don't matter where it come from. My biggest artist is one of my biggest artists from New Orleans, the other biggest artist from New York, and my other biggest artist from Canada. Then my other biggest artist from Atlanta. Two, three of them from Atlanta, one from Memphis. You dig what I'm saying? So it don't matter where it comes from. It's just, you know, where the town of that. You know what I mean? We can't just focus on one situation, bro. Like, because we, we don't want taking the L or the W. Mm. We, we don't win or lose with it. So, um, if I just focus on one spot, you know, I used to do that though. Everything with me coming up was all New Orleans. That's why we was so New Orleans based. Mm -hmm. And I'm cool with that. But mm -hmm. at this point, I'm older. Mm -hmm. Whoever I feel have the best talent. Mm -hmm. Right. It's all about. And it don't oh, have yeah. to be where I come from. Right. 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 No matter where nigga come from. Last question I won't relax or whatever. Your brother, Sugar Slim. Mm -hmm. On dying, mm -hmm. you always say nothing getting through without Jank calling a shot. Big fact. Oh, why is your brother so important? Why do you listen to your brother so much? Because a lot of people, you know, be saying, Man, why they can't have a, a brother relationship with their brother like you and Slim? Like, you listen to him. Have you ever not listened to him? And if so, how did that go with him? Man, I would never not listen to Slim. Mm -hmm. Whatever Slim, Slim say, go. I love my brother so much to like. He like a father figure to me. Like he's everything to me. I love that boy, bro. He's you hear me? My brother been in homes. We slept on floors. We slept in puddles of water. Like, and he the only thing held me down. He avoided me from wilding out. Mm. If it wasn't for Slim, it wouldn't be no me. Mm. And my brother, bro, I can't even say what my brother mean to me in words, bro. Like. Mm. He, he's he like my father. I love him past words. Right. Like, that's that nigga to me. He is that nigga. Right. Right. If a nigga got a problem with something, they might as well kill me first. Because right. I promise you, I'm going to do everything in my power to destroy you if you're right. playing with Slim. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, Slim real, like you said, laid back and. Hey, like blood. Mm -hmm. I'm about to make a move, right? right. I got to go. I'm going to the studio. I'm going to okay. fuck with Jism. My little nigga, man, shout out to my little nigga Jism, man. That's my little nigga, man. Shout out to Weezy, mm -hmm. uh, Juvie, a uh, fuck with now, Fresh, and every nigga that I birth in this game, Lil Jacquees, that's my little nigga. Mm -hmm. um, I love them niggas, and we ain't, this cash money shit ain't gonna never die, blood. Hey, man, you keep doing what you doing. Shout out to the NO, mm -hmm. shout out to No Rap Cop Podcast, mm -hmm. and Everybody that's doing everything for the city and the bitty, and um, I'm gone, blood. I'm gonna holler at you later. Thanks, all right. Please subscribe.